What should a buyer's agent be paid? Everyone knows that when a house is listed, there's a listing agent, and most buyers have a realtor that represents them on their side. That's called a buyer's agent. So aside from how they get paid, let's just talk about a buyer's agent, the very minimum that they have to do. According to Arizona Administrative Rule in the Code of Ethics section, a buyer's agent must do the following. They must show the buyer the properties, because you know, you're not gonna buy unless you haven't seen before. They draft an offer, negotiate the purchase contract, assist the buyer through the inspection period and the appraisal section if there is one, assisting the buyer all the way through closing and advocating for the buyer throughout the entire process. Right now, this is February 2024, the seller negotiates the buyer's agent's commission. And they don't negotiate it with the buyer's agent, they negotiate it with the seller's agent. So if that seems weird to you, it is. Just go with me on that. If a seller doesn't want to pay any fee to the buyer's agent, then the buyer's agent has to get that money from the buyer. Nobody work, can work for free. I'm sure you would want to get paid for the work you were doing just as I need to be as well. That's why I always ask for a buyer's agreement and I put in there the amount that I am willing to work for because I need to protect myself and my client because if I'm not being paid a fair wage, how am I gonna be able to afford to put a roof over my house, pay all of the expenses a realtor needs to pay, and still provide the level of service that you deserve? What do you think a buyer's agent is worth? Please comment below with what you think. I would love to hear.